adding fuel to your fuel gauge. Uh, not really, but it's a cool test. Built-in flashlight, we can easily locate the OD2 port. Do a combination graph. Once I turn off one of the fuel injectors, the camera starts shaking, the RPMs start dropping. You actually have an opportunity to save just a little bit more money as well. Uh, in the link description, I'll have a coupon code that you can use, Bronco Outdoors. How's it going YouTube? Bronco Outdoors here with a really exciting video for you today. Today we're going to be putting head to head two of the most popular wireless OBD2 car scanners available on the market. Uh, we have the eDiag Elite from King Bolin and we have the A30M from Xtool. These are really popular, really hot right now out there. So we're going to go ahead and put them head to head and see which one you should purchase and what's your best bang for your buck. Uh, if you haven't seen my full review of the eDiag Elite, be sure to check that. There'll be a card up there and links down below. That being said, Let's go ahead and get started. Kicking us off with the A30M unboxing. The A30M has several features, some of notably which are auto off FCA, full OBD2 functions, 23 plus services, bi-directional control, all system diagnostics and auto VIN, and lifetime free software updates. Right on the top of the device, we have a flashlight button built into the actual plug, which was one of the most unique features I've seen on any of these scanners. And along the bottom, you have your status indicator LEDs. Moving on to the eDiag unboxing, the eDiag also has some special features like auto VIN, bi-directional control, lifetime free software updates, 15 plus scan, and more. The device is rather simple, but does look pretty sleek. Let's go ahead and start with the A30M setup. You'll want to start by scanning the QR code that's on the box, and that'll kick off an APK install. Once you run this, this will install the app and you can go ahead and fill out your information to create an account and activate your scan. Just like that. And that should forward me over to the Play Store, just like that. And that's what the app looks like. So we'll go ahead and install that now. Open it up. We'll go ahead and click each person. So now it's asking us for an account. So we'll go ahead and click register now. And then that's where you're going to want to scan the QR code that's on the front. And there you go. We have been uh, successfully binded. Next, let's take a look at how to connect the A30M. Thanks to that ingenious feature of a built-in flashlight, we can easily locate the OD2 port and plug it right in. Once you've connected it, you want to go ahead and navigate to the settings. You can change your units and head over to your Bluetooth settings as well. You'll find the A30M in your available list and you click pair and bounce back over to the app. And here's where you'll see a prompt that you'll want to hit OK to. And now we are paired with the actual scanner. Kicking us off with an auto scan we see that the device actually picks up that it needs some extra features to diagnose my Ford Bronco Sport. So it's gonna go ahead and download that. Speaking of downloads, if we check this update screen, we actually see that there are 119 updates available consisting of special features and other brand vehicles. We can go ahead and hit update all and get our scanner up to date. Kicking it off with an auto scan, we can see that it does successfully find my vehicle and VIN number. And here we're greeted with our applications. We're going to jump into the automatic scan, which is going to take a look at every single capability and feature that my vehicle has on board, as well as give us a report of any of the DTC codes. You can also clear them from here and export a report. Taking a look at the eDiag now, we got the same idea here, a little bit more difficult because we don't have that built-in flashlight, but same idea, plug it right into the OBD2 port. Launching the app, we can see we have a Bluetooth icon in the top right corner. We tap on that, we click allow, and it'll automatically find our scanner, and we'll start with our diagnose. successfully found our Bronco Sport, and here are our functions. So this is similar to the system scan, 
finding all of the features our vehicle has on board, and as well as giving us a report of any DTC codes. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the capabilities of the eDiag to capture live data. So if you read data stream, we can pick which specific feature we want to look at. And in this case, I chose the blower motor. You can see that when I raise the air conditioning blower motor, we get an equal and equivalent reaction on our graph in the application. Also important to show how quickly the device is able to communicate with your phone, being sub-second, maybe even millisecond times. Now we're going to select two data streams and we're going to have them actually plot each other over a graph. So you can see as I step on the accelerator here, we're getting both to show some movement. If we check both boxes, we can actually plot these over a graph and show how they relate to each other over time. Moving on to the A30M live data testing, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the gear shift module. You can see that I have the car in park, and that's what it reports back. If we move to reverse, you see we do get an equal action in the application. We're going to take a look at some more here. Same ones, absolute throttle position and engine RPM. Same deal, we can actually do a combination graph and show how these relate to each other over time. Now let's take a look at the eDiag's bi-directional capabilities. We're going to check out the instrument panel features. We're going to try an actuation test. Specifically, we're going to key on the high beams LED. And you'll see once I tap on, right on my instrument cluster, you'll see the high beams indicator LED turn on and we can turn it off and how's this one for a good magic trick adding fuel to your fuel gauge uh, not really but it's a cool test to validate that we do have bi-directional control and now testing the A30M's bi-directional control we're gonna do another actuator test but in this case we're actually going to try turning off one of our fuel injectors Can see once I turn off one of the fuel injectors, the camera starts shaking, the RPMs start dropping, and we are indeed getting a successful test on one of the injectors being turned off. Next we're going to take a look at the air conditioner control. We're going to try to turn on and off the actual air conditioner. And you can see that we can indeed see the LED turn on and turn off when we're testing it. Now let's take a look at the eDiag special functions. They've moved this around from time to time, and it seems to have all accumulated in the maintenance software section. And if we want to use one of these features, all we have to do is click download and open. And now we can use this feature. Taking a look at the A30M special functions, we have a lot more here way more capable. You can see a much larger list here. Both awesome devices. Let's go ahead and close this one out and get our final thoughts. All right, and wrapping up today's video, we're going to go ahead and give our final thoughts and conclusions on which scanner is right for you. Um, I think a lot of that's going to come down to your personal use case. So if you're a casual weekend DIYer mechanic, then I think the eDiag Elite is the perfect option for you. It comes right in under $100 and has 15 resets. It has special features and functions for most make and models. It's really able to do a lot, and I don't, don't think you're going to be missing much with this device. That being said, if you do want the full feature set, all the resets, all the live data captures you can possibly need, um, I do think it's probably worth the extra money uh, if you need those features to go with the X-Tool uh, A30M. It comes in right at about $200 typically. 
There is a Prime Day special going on right now where it's actually the lowest price available, $127. So, you know, the price point's getting pretty close. And given that this one has a lot more resets and live data captures, I think this one is a really good purchase. Um, if you're watching this and it's not Prime Day, then you actually have an opportunity to save just a little bit more money as well. Uh, in the link description, I'll have a coupon code that you can use, Bronco Outdoors, um, and that'll give you 10% off on your purchase. Uh, but again, it's all gonna come down to what's your use case. I think we can definitely see that both are very capable, but go ahead and make the best choice for your mechanic shop, whether you're an outside DIY mechanic or you're running a full-fledged in-house mechanic shop. That being said, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to check out my other videos if you're interested in these car scanners. I love these devices. I think they're awesome. But be sure to check out, I have a playlist of all my other reviews. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Bye-bye.